Welcome to Finding My Best Self, the podcast that celebrates the extraordinary in every woman. Each week, your host, Pam Rivette, will share practical how-to advice, empowering you with strategies and insights to navigate life's complexities. We'll welcome inspiring guests, women who have defied the odds, transformed obstacles into opportunities, and are redefining what success truly means. From navigating personal and professional challenges to celebrating triumphs in fitness, self-care, and beyond, we explore it all. Whether you're seeking motivation or a spark of inspiration, this is your sanctuary for empowerment, authentic conversations, and a whole lot of real talk. So lace up your sneakers, grab that cup of coffee, and let's embark on this journey together, exploring the lives of women who are making it happen, sharing both the struggles and the victories. Welcome to Finding My Best Self, where every episode is a step towards becoming the hero of your own story. Hello, and welcome back to Finding My Best Self podcast. I'm your host, Pam Revet. but if you're watching on YouTube, you can see that I also have with me today, Mandy St. Germain. Um, so I guess we're just going to jump right in. I want to cover um, just MBS Fitco updates first today on the podcast. So um, first and foremost, um, Mandy is now my business partner. Um, her and I have been keeping this secret for a little over a month now. And um, I'm super excited. I'm so blessed that she is now part of MBS Fitco with me. But that also means that going forward on the podcast as well, that we'll be doing, instead of me just doing solo episodes every other week, it'll actually be duo. So just her and I talking about, you know, just whatever topic, you know, is on our heart at the, at the time. So we're just coming off of actually doing the Facebook Live video where we showcase all of the MBS Fitco um, activewear that is going to be available during pre-launch. If you're watching on YouTube, again, you can actually see we're, we're wearing some of the pieces right now. Um, so definitely we'll put the, the link in the show notes. So that way, if you haven't gotten to see the live on Facebook, you can click the link to watch it and um, just kind of check out what you know, what we'll have. And so we um, discuss on the live that our official launch day is going to be February 19th. Yeah. So you guys are listening on February 15th. So launch day is happening very soon in just a couple days. So if you're not on our VIP list, get on that now. Again, we'll put the link in the show notes to get on the VIP list. Um, VIP customers are going to get 20% 20% off their entire purchase. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> so we have a total of six pieces, um, a sports bra, a jacket, and leggings, two colors in each for you to be able to choose from. We have a limited stock, um, and we have right now over 100 people on the pre-launch list. So stock is going to go really fast, um, especially with there being a 20% off discount coupon. So if you're not on the list, get on it. We are so pumped. Um, we're putting in a lot of work over the next couple of days, making sure everything is set up perfect for launch day on Monday. Um, and then we also announced as well, um, that we have asked Brandy Verda from the podcast episode from last week that you guys listened to to be our first member um, of our, we we haven't decided on a name yet. We're still, we're still tossing around some, some names, but part of MBS Fitco is going to be that we want women to be part of this with us. And we want to make everyone feel special and, you know, have women be part of MBS Fitco and get active where, and be able to tell their story, whether it's on the podcast and on the website. Um, But Brandy was nominated by us to be our first person um, who is going to receive a free set of activewear from us. She is going to be getting a free photo shoot on us, as well as her picture and her bio is going to be featured on our website. And it's just all about lifting women up and celebrating her for everything that she's overcome and everything that she's going through and just her own personal journey. And so that's something that we're really big on. And again, you'll see this in the live if you watch it on Facebook. We talked a lot about this um, and how much all of this means to us in the future of MBS Fitco. But just the line in general, um, our active wear is something that we just want it to make women feel confident and not just in the gym because 
you know, we firmly believe that active wear, especially in today's world, goes so far from just the gym, right? I mean, we wear active wear. I'm going out shopping, you know, picking up the kids, getting groceries, anything. You can throw this on and feel yeah, and feel amazing. It's it's to have something that you can put on in the morning mm-hmm. and say like, okay, I'm going to bring the kids to school. I have to go, you know, run some errands, and then I'm going to go to the gym, and then after that, I have to go run the kids all over the planet <laughs> Earth because you know all the kids have all the sports and yeah. dance and you know cheer and whatever, yes, all the sure. things, um, and then come home and cook supper and clean up in the house and do all the things but still feel good, right? It's all about just, I don't know. I, you know, for me, it's, I like to just not feel like blah, right? (laughs) Like just to, I just like to feel put together. So it's having those multifunctional pieces that you can feel great, but then still go work out and still be able to go about your day too. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like what you were talking about, just making sure that, you know, in order for us to feel more confident, getting out, you know, doing your hair, doing your makeup, or just putting on something that you're going to feel like your best self. And that a lot of the times whenever you, you don't do that, or you just kind of are laying around on the couch in your pajamas, then it's going to give you a whole different mood for the day. Yeah. I know that you had talked about that a little bit when we were talking, but I think um, this clothing line for me, uh, the first time I put it on, I I told Pam, I was like, I don't think I've ever felt as confident in athleisure wear or workout clothes in the longest time. And we've talked about all the different styles and brands that we used before. And for whatever reason, it's just the quality and how it fits and it hits in all the right places that um, I text her and I was like, I just, whenever I'm wearing this, I just, I'm walking around like I own the place. Cause you just feel like you just feel really good. And I don't think I've ever had that experience in activewear before. So. Yeah, it definitely feels great. So I cannot wait for it to get into your hands because I know that we, we can say it and it, you know, it's, it's people are like, Oh yeah, well, you're just saying that. Cause it's yours. <laughs> y'all no. I'm telling you when yeah. you get it, like, I cannot wait for y'all to get it in your hands. Cause I'm, it is absolutely phenomenal like you're going to love the quality is just fantastic but so just going into that's what we decided to talk about today was just confidence in general because I know it's something that Mandy and I personally have struggled with over our you know over our lives and just you know the ups and downs of it of you know and and what we've been through so you know active wear I think for me really and truthfully is was you know Mandy and I met years ago through Beachbody when we used to coach. And I know you've ta- heard me talk about it on the podcast before. And I think we actually talked about it on her interview too, that, um, you know, when we started with Beachbody together back in 2015-ish, um, active wear was like the, the foundation for me, right? That was kind of what started to give me that little bit of confidence to want to work out, to want to do all the things and to eat better and all of that stuff. And so that was kind of what started, you know, just my experience and really becoming confident in myself Mm -hmm. and being confident in my own skin. Um, is just, you know, with the the gym clothes in general, I know, I know you can attest to that too. Absolutely. I mean, and, and I think as women, moms, you know, a lot of the times we want to be comfortable and we want to have things that are multifunctional. And so active wear, was just something that, you know, you, you put on to do your errands, but then also work out. And so I think, um, just having that confidence at the beginning, you know, of course that's where it stemmed from, but it has ebbed and flowed throughout the years for sure. Yeah. Just the self-love, self-confidence part. Yeah. And for me, it's all about no matter what I'm putting on, whether it's active wear or even something else, it's just a matter of when I get up in the morning um, I try to always just put myself together. You know, I, people laugh at me cause they're like, you have a full face of makeup on. Like, why are you all dressed up? And you know, cause again, y'all heard me talk about that. I work from home. Um, and not every day I'm in front of the camera. And so some days I just get dressed and I'll fix my makeup and do my hair and put something on other than my pajamas <laughs> and put on shoes and stuff because it's a mindset thing. It's, 100%. it's just, 
when, you know, every time that I pass by a mirror that I'm not looking at myself being like, ooh, you know, or it's, it's, it's so that way I just, I will be a lot more productive if I feel put together. Right. And feel good about it too. Because I think that, you know, you, you, you talked about going by a mirror. I mean, I've been in certain situations where I have not always loved looking at the person that's in the mirror. And so, um, that in itself is a mindset shift that you have to have. You can't just automatically start, you know, knocking yourself down when you see yourself in the mirror or nitpicking little pieces of things. And so it's, it becomes a mindset shift that you have to have within yourself. And I do feel like putting that extra effort into yourself is going to help you to be more accepting of who you are and how you feel. So yeah, it it's, it's a lot easier to stop the negative I ams because yeah. those, those negative I ams are so powerful. Like when you're constantly telling yourself negative things like, you know, I, you know, I, I don't look good today or, yeah. you know, or just nitpicking yourself and saying negative things to yourself will completely change your entire mood day, week, month, right? <laughs> if you keep it going. Yeah. And not just for you, right. But everyone <laughs> else around you feels it, you yeah. know, when, when you're not feeling good about yourself. And so I know that that's always something that I've been trying to work on. But like Mandy said, it's, you have to make the effort to make that change. Yeah. And so for me, one of those things to change that mindset and to help myself to not say those negative things is to just get up and do something with myself in the morning. And to tell yourself, like almost stop in the situation in the moment, because, you know, if you continuously spiral into those negative thoughts, if you're not allowing yourself to catch them and redirect your thinking, then it will become more of an issue. And you're just going to continuously um, not have that self-love and self-confidence that you deserve to have, because no matter what your body used to be or is now like it's gonna it all comes back to you so if you're right. not loving yourself for all stages all seasons yeah then um it's just that that self-confidence like you said everyone's around you is gonna feel that because it's gonna exude out of you so yeah oh it's it's recognizing it right yeah. it's because we're all human right like we're yeah. going to have yes, the moments the of no matter how much <laughs> we try to say i'm yeah. gonna be positive yeah. today like i'm not gonna say anything negative and then something comes up and then, you know, that negative thought kind of trickles in and it's, you know, I know you've heard me say it before. Like I literally will shake my head. Um, like, you know, I, like I'm trying to shake the thought out whenever those negative thoughts creep in and I'm like, no, stop. Like, don't, don't think that. And then, you know, just flipping it and trying to say, no, that's not how I think about myself, you know, and just, yeah. And like you said, you're, we're constantly talking to ourselves all day long, you know, yeah. and we're constantly in our head, you know, we're in charge of, 10 different things. And so you're constantly having those conversations with yourself. And so it is, you have to physically and mentally tell yourself like, no, stop. I, you know, I love myself and give you all those positive yeah. affirmations. So, yeah. Or even just not even always just about confidence in who you are or how you look, but even in things that are about to go on. So for example, you know, I just recently was having thoughts of, oh my gosh, all of this stuff is coming to a forefront now, you know, with MBS Fitco and all of the things that are going to have to get done. You know, we have to do a live video and we have to finish getting the website set up. And I was like, the kids are out of school this week because of the Mardi Gras holiday. And I was like, I'm going to be so stressed and this is going to be so stressful having the kids home. And I was like, okay, stop. Like I'm already setting myself up mm -hmm. to be stressed out because I'm telling myself that I'm going to be stressed. Right. And so I was like, no, like it's going to be okay. Just one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. And I'll, you know, and if I don't set myself up in that mindset that that's going to happen, then it'll be a lot easier yeah. for me to handle. This episode is brought to you by MBS Fitco. Excitement is in the air at MBS Fitco as we prepare for our upcoming launch. We're introducing a line of premium activewear designed to seamlessly fit into both your workout routines and daily life. Our versatile collection is perfect for your workouts and equally suited for your day-to-day -day tasks, ensuring you look and feel your best, no matter the occasion. It's not just clothing, it's a commitment to self-care and embracing your best self. Be the first to experience the fusion of style, comfort, and functionality. Subscribe to our VIP list and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for insider information and exclusive perks available only on our launch day. Dive into the show notes for all the links you need.
MBS Fitco is more than just activewear. It's a lifestyle. Join our community and be part of our exciting journey from day one to celebrate fitness, self-care, and your hero within. Don't just wear it, live it. All right, now let's dive back into this episode. I'm not saying that there's not going to be moments that I'm not going to get stressed, but it's just not stressing yourself. We talked about this, stressing yourself before the stress even happens. Like fear of the fear that may not ever happen. Right. You're just stressing yourself out. And then most of the time, 99% of the time, none of that happens. Yeah. It's just in our our mind. We're just telling ourselves. So it's just, it's all about mindset. And I know that too, what we've personally going through and I know where I'm at right now in my life, and I know Mandy is right there with me, mm-hmm. is just being confident and happy in the skin that we're in and in the season that we're in because we both have rode the weight roller coaster, right, um, our whole lives. I know yeah. Mandy at one point oh, did compete. Mm-hmm. She did beach body bikini competitions and I was on the verge of starting to prepare to do bodybuilding competitions, you know, where my, I think my body fat was like down to 17, 15. I don't even know what it was. It was crazy low at that time. Um, and that did something to me, you know, like it meant like, granted, was it great? I mean, it was exciting to see what my body was capable of, Absolutely. but then I struggled a lot and I've struggled a lot through the I years like just since then it's yeah a, it's a, and you know um a lot of respect for people that do that all the time yeah but for me it was such a mental shift that I had that it has taken years to kind of come yes. back out of and just because I think you do see your body in a way that you've never seen it before because it takes such like a mental capacity to even get to that point right yeah or even to maintain that and so I feel like you have to kind of Obviously, for me, that was not a lifestyle that I could keep up with. And so my body has ebbed and flowed. You know, I had three kids, uh, had C-sections for all of them. So Mm -hmm. there's certain aspects of my body that I struggle with. But I think in that um, and seeing what my body was capable of doing, it gives you a strength, but it also kind of gives you a like a mental thing where you're you're having to tell yourself that however you look right now is how that you need to kind of embrace right now, like my curves and all the other things that I just would always nitpick. And now it's like, no, like this is how I am right now. I'm, I'm doing the best that I can in the season I am in. And, um, just kind of keeping that in the forefront and not beating yourself up that you don't look like the certain image that you have in your head. Whether it's a way that you may have used to look in your younger days, you know, before kids or, even just with social media and seeing pictures and stuff like that. It's, you know, everyone's body type is different. And that's, you know, one thing that I've had to, it's so been so hard for me to accept the fact that I am not, and my body type is not, you know, this, you know, a a smaller figure, like, you know, and, and so I'm just, it's taken me years because I went through, you know, prior to losing all kind of weight and stuff, Um, before I got pregnant, I was at the heaviest that I had ever been in my life, not pregnant. And then after, after my, before my third child. And so, and then, and then I lost a ton of weight and got down to the point where I was smaller than I probably had been since high school Mm -hmm. or junior high before I had children. And, and then even then, and I know we both talked about this, which is really crazy is when I was in the best shape of my life. I picked at my body more more, than I probably ever have. Mm -hmm. And I was so hard on myself. I would literally stand in the mirror and pick at skin because that's all that was there. That's all that was left. (laughs) All that was there. And I was so so hard on myself. And so, and that's why when Mandy said like props to those girls and men that compete because y'all, it is, it is a mental game like it is really really hard it's so far beyond just them being in the gym and working out in the middle and after because you you come off of the season and you're going to a different season and you have to mentally kind of backtrack yourself to know that like okay my body looked like this for this specific thing and it can it's going to ebb and flow again because you're not on that same routine or you're doing something different and so it's constantly yeah a roller coaster with you just trying to be okay yeah and not 
let it spiral into because it really was at the time I I just remember like being the smallest or what I thought was the healthiest at the time because really I, I probably wasn't healthy right you know? and um and just kind of seeing myself like that and then realizing like I, that really wasn't the best situation for me at the time because yeah. it, it messed with me mentally and I think now years later I'm finally more confident in my skin and I'm probably I'm not the heaviest I've ever been but yeah. you know I've got I've got curves and thickness and yeah. I, I for me to embrace that is huge because yeah. I'm always like oh I need to look this way or I need to yeah. do this and so for me to finally like own who I am and yeah. what I look like right now is like the best thing ever when so. it's so empowering too it right? is it's just it's complete mindset shift and stopping those negative thoughts because of yeah. course like you said we're always going to have them they're always going to come up you're going to look at something in the mirror and go oh I don't really like how this looks mm-hmm. and then next thing you know you just have to tell yourself stop like no yeah so yeah and it's just been the years of trying to because as I continue to you know not have as much muscle or, you know, maybe put on a little bit of weight. It was more so of just learning to not only embrace myself, but just loving life too and living life a little bit more and knowing that there is a balance and it's okay. And very much like you said, like I'm at a point now where what has happened that I have accepted the fact that this is who I am and this is my body type. I have noticed that you know, the way that I eat has not become, it is no longer um, a challenge for me. It doesn't become restrictive because when I was doing that, I was so strict on my, I was so strict on my diet. Like if I ate one thing that wasn't in line, like I beat myself up forever about it and that has stopped. So I have a better relationship with food food and I can, you know, do the things like for the holidays, I put on like 10 pounds during the holidays. And I was like, I don't care, whatever. I had a great time. <laughs> I had, I had a great holidays and now it's January and we're just going to do like a little yeah. cleanse and it's okay. Like it's, it's okay. okay. And then what's also happened, Mandy, is that now that I am more confident in my own skin and myself, my mindset on everything else has shifted. Mm. Because now, because now that I'm not so focused on what I look like and picking at myself and being so concerned about my body, I've also been able to open my mind up to other areas of my life where I wasn't paying so much attention Mm -hmm. to like my children or my marriage or my future and my career and my goals. That energy is going to other places that need it more than that. Yes. It's it's almost such a waste of energy sometimes to nitpick and- like you were talking about the food, it's almost like the food noise. Cause I remember, Oh, it's been two hours. Like I need to eat a snack or, yeah. you know, Oh, I got to get in all these different things throughout yes. the day. And it's constantly almost like bogging down your, your, your mindset or your energy in whenever you could be putting that into other things that were more productive or yeah, know, just to sustain you, you know, overall. But yeah, that's so true. So we're both a really big advocate of fitness, right? Yeah. We both work out. Yeah. We both eat healthy. Yeah. It's still, there's a balance there. You have to, you can't, you can't just expect, you know, yourself to, especially I think going into my late thirties, my body type, my, my whole composition, metabolism, everything is shifting again. Cause you know, oh, I feel God. like it happens every 10 years. Or my metabolism is yeah. like, <laughs> it's non-existent anymore pretty much, but you know, it's almost yeah. like that also has to shift that you have to be accepting of the different, yeah. um, cause you know, like hormone imbalances and all these other things mm-hmm. that we deal with. And I think you can't beat yourself up on that. You have to kind of accept it. Things that I did five, 10 years ago mm-hmm. aren't going to work now. Yeah. It's just not, it's not the same. And so you have to adapt, but then also not become super focused on it Yeah, and let it consume you because it can. I mean, I think we've all been there, Yeah, but yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a, it's at the end of the day, it's all of a mindset shift, which we all know that we all know it's about mindset, but it's, you know, taking action and noticing when that mindset, sh- mindset shifts to a negative place. It is doing the things that you know, and I know y'all have heard me talk about it before about how much self, how important self care is. And that's, yeah. that's part of that is, you know, whether it is getting your nails done or getting your hair done or doing massages or, 
purchasing activewear that, that you, you feel, feel so good. <laughs> yes. It's doing all of those things and, you know, all of anything and everything that you can do as a woman to take that time for you and to not get lost. Yeah. Cause we get lost in everyone else's things. Yeah. We get lost in our day to day, our mundane routines. We get mm-hmm. lost in every, everybody else's schedule. Mm-hmm. So it is, it's, it's, being mindful of that and not losing yourself in those moments because it's yeah. so easy. And, and then you get to a point and you're like, where, where did it go? Where, right. where am I? Where did I go? Yeah. Who am I? Who you am know, I? I know I've what been do there. I need, want, love. More than and what's in most life. of the time, it's not, it's not us. We don't love ourselves. Yeah. We love everyone else first. Mm-hmm. And so we lose that. Yeah. So I think that about wraps it up. Just confidence, confidence, confidence. And if any, if we can do anything to help you with that, that's what we're here to do Absolutely. with that MBS. Is, that is the main focus, yeah. especially with the active wear is just having you put something on and then feel like you are your best self and you can walk around and feel the most confident that you have in years. Cause yes. I know that's how I feel. So, all right. So, Last thing, again, uh, in the show notes, we're going to link the Facebook Live. If you missed it, you can go watch it. We're going to link the VIP list so you can get on there to get your discount. Again, launch day starts on Monday, February 19th. And last but not least, if this episode resonated with you, if you know a woman that needs to hear about confidence and how she can be confident in herself and that she should be because everyone is beautiful inside and out, um, share this episode, help us get the word out about MBS Fitco, about Finding My Best Self podcast. We absolutely love just speaking to women in general, anything to lift women up um, and lifting each other up because that's what it's all about at the end of the day is us all having each other's back and speaking life and love into everyone that we possibly can. And last but not least, as always, you are strong, you are capable, and you are worthy. We love you and we're endlessly rooting for you. We'll catch y'all next time. As we wrap up another episode of Finding My Best Self, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you for joining us today. You being here makes the journey much more meaningful. Remember, every step you take, no matter how small, is a leap towards discovering and nurturing your best self. If you found value in today's episode, please feel free to subscribe to the podcast. Your subscription helps us reach and inspire more amazing women like you. And if you could take a moment to leave us a review, it would mean the world to us. Your feedback not only supports our growth, but also helps other women find this empowering space. Don't forget to share this episode with a friend, family member, or fellow hero in your life. Every share spreads a little more empowerment and inspiration. And for an extra dose of motivation and community support, don't forget to sign up for the VIP list for MBS Fitco. By joining, you get exclusive access to our premium, versatile activewear and fitness essentials, carefully designed to inspire and accompany you on your self-care and fitness journey. Follow us on our social channels too for daily inspiration and a peek into our latest collections. You'll find all the details and links in the show notes. Joining our VIP list is more than just a subscription. It's your entry into a world where fitness and self-care are celebrated and every step towards wellness is cheered on. So until next time, keep shining, keep striving, and keep celebrating the extraordinary woman you are. Thank you again for tuning in to the Finding My Best Self podcast where every story is a step towards finding your hero within. We'll catch you next time.